happening, my darling, lovely people? Yes, so hmm. Tinubu president elect is not joking at all, he's on the matter. Tinubu say, Well, hmm, speaks on shutting down Aso Rock himself and um, his uh, vice presidential uh, president elect. Say, Well, they want to shut down Aso Rock, and you will under you will you will get to understand what that means, why they are shutting down Aso Rock. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a new thing. You know, but these are some of the issues, you know, that is currently coming up. Uh, you know, he, ha um, he has told Buhari before that when you live there, I will occupy. Heineck has announced that he is the president-elect. We saw Oni of Ife said, well, I have never seen this kind of miracle before. You that people did not vote for, you became president. The person that they voted for did not become president. That You say you are a miracle child. That was what he said. He said your miracle, you know, get part two. That was what he said. The Oni of Ife, a very funny man. He said you are a miracle child, a special one. In fact, he just said it like that and he leave, he leave you to use your mind to do the to do the you know to do the calculation and to fill or fill in the blank space anyway please my lovely people don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe let's get all the details tinubu's camp speaks on shutting down aso rock chapter the director and special media operation and new media for the bola ame tinubu Kashim Shetima Presidential Campaign Council PCC on Saturday dismissed reports that the Aso Rock Villa chapter will be shut down for four years because the president elect and the vice president elect the chapel said it to be said they, that they are Muslims. Politics Nigeria reports that according to Femi Fani Kayode, the incoming First Lady Senator Oluremi Tinubu is a pastor, thus the chapel cannot be uh, closed. The associates, the association of the Aso Rock Chapel will be shut down for four years because Bola Metinubu and Kashim Shetima, the president elect and the vice president elect respectively, are Muslims. And this given the fact that the incoming first lady is not a Christian but a pastor. Let's see how things will work out. The assertion that the Aso Rock Chapel will be shut down for four years because Bola Metinubu and his vice president elect respectively are Muslims is absolutely given the fact that the incoming first lady is not only a Christian but is also a pastor. The former Evasion Minister wrote on his verified Twitter handle that she will not allow the chapel to be shut down. Yes, they are Muslims and they will have nothing to do with the chapel, but the incoming First Lady is a Christian. This newspaper also reports that the Aso Rock Chapel is a church where Christian family living, working in the around the power uh, house Aso Rock. Um, go to worship in Abuja. It serves as a social religious religious forum where they worship and celebrate themselves as well as major activities like Christmas, Easter, and others. So now the chapel they don't they talk about say we say uh, Tinubu is a Muslim. Atiku is a um, Tinubu is a Muslim. Shetim is a Muslim. What will happen? What will happen to the chapel? Well, I don't think that's the major problem here or the major issue that everybody should be businessing themselves with. The most important thing is what has happened to Nigerian politics. Do you under do you understand the meaning of Tinubu and Shatima winning? Do you do you think you have a clue? Hmm. This is to tell you that all appointees can be Muslims and you don't have a say. They will tell you after all, uh, the is a Muslim Muslim ticket and uh, there is really nothing you can say. This is to tell you that you know uh, there, there may be no service, yeah, in the Aso Rock all through the four years. So people are saying, oh, uh, Tinubu's wife is a pastor. We we'll wait and see. Talk is cheap. They are Muslims. You don't expect them to go to a church. It's not because they want to go to. A, they don't want to go to the mosque. Uh, go to the church. They are not Christians. So, if that's if that's your. <clears throat> If that's your argument, I don't think you stand a you stand a very great chance because the truth of the matter is to start with they are not even Christians, uh, so uh, exactly you know exactly what are you telling me? 
So when you look at the whole issue, when you look at what is happening, you see you see all that is going on. And honestly, sincerely speaking, this calls for you know serious concern, and every single person must understand what is going on. You know, when 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 you know when the ticket came out that it was a Muslim Muslim ticket, a lot of Nigerians raised concern and said, why not you know Christians and Muslims in this country alike? Why not do a balanced thing rather than you know focusing on one area? Why not make it balanced? Why you know but it's uh, no they want to prove that you know they can have their way whatever happens my people we owe this country prayers yes if you want things to work my dear you have to pray for this country and pray for this country and pray for this country i'm not even joking i'm not even joking we need to pray for this country you know because there are lots of people different people different persons with different interests, different points of views with regards to how things should be going forward. So nobody should sit back there and think that, uh, you know, you can just make things work without us really sincerely getting getting everything that we need to get on track, getting it done. It's up to you and I. So every time we neglect the opportunity of, you know, ensuring that things are done decently and in order, what happens is that we, we have left ourselves to a chance and whatever comes, we can only wait and see the resultant effect. We can only wait and see what, what follows next, you see. So these are some of the issues that are here on ground and um, it is it is it is either here, it is either now or never that we put things right back in place. You see, so these are some of the things that are happening and it is the dawn of a new day. It is the dawn of a new day. So whatever it is, just remember that you and I <clears throat> we must be able to ensure that we do not allow the same thing over and over again. Whatever we need to make Nigeria a better place, let's do it together. Kashim and uh, uh, Tinubu, they, they, they may have plans for the chapel, but you just pray for the country. Okay, the chapel is a place where people go to worship and Tinubu's wife knew exactly, you know, so let's just pray for the country. Let's just pray. Let's just pray for the country. I know. I know somebody who says, Mother, what you pray I won't do. Just now, what you will make her talk now? What you will make her talk? Eh? They don't tell us, say, make we not come outside, say, won't come protest. Does anybody when he protest? They go break his leg. Remember, answers now. People not come out, they come out. People with their injury, say, they go see anybody. In fact, they are still lying up to today that nothing happened. So, exactly what are we, are we talking about? Can you see? So, what you will do now to pray? Honestly, that's the only thing we can do. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. God bless. Have a good day. Bye for now. Remember, you have a voice. Yes. Remember. Bye-bye.